Welcome everybody to Disney's Yacht Club and Beach Club. Is Disney's Yacht Club and Beach Club separate resorts or are they the same? My answer to that is yes. Let me explain. Okay, before we get going on our Instagram page and our YouTube channel, we posted a question of what resort do you want us to go to next with a couple of options. So, let's go to Yacht and Beach today. If you did vote, thank you very much. Make sure to follow our Instagram because uh, we'll, be, we'll be doing some more quizzes and a Q&A a little bit later on. So make sure to follow us on Instagram and hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Why don't we go on a beach real quick and uh, chat for a little bit. This is such a beautiful area. Such a beautiful area. All right, so Epcot Resorts, Boardwalk, Yacht, and Beach Club and Swan and Dolphin are all part of Crescent Lake, which I'll show you right now. Absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite resort areas here. All right, so you got Epcot entrance right over there. You have the boardwalk here. Zoom in a little bit. You got um, Swan and Dolphin right there, which are Marriott operated hotels. And then you have the Yacht Club, which we're going to today. And then right behind me, you have the Beach Club. Now, you probably clicked on this video because it is a yacht and beach video. And we will start with the Beach Club while we're here. But uh, one of the things I mentioned before is that they are separate hotels, Yacht Club and the Beach Club. But they share a lot of amenities. And their pool is one of them. And their pool is absolutely amazing. It is probably one of the best, if not the best, here on Walt Disney World property. This beach for a beach club is extremely big. You got a pirate ship slide right there, which we'll get into that a little bit later today. But it's beautiful. White sand. It's huge. You can watch the Epcot fireworks from here. I mean, what, what's going to like? It's truly, it's beach living. Look at how beautiful all the girls are today. Amelia, Olivia, Carrie. So come explore with us. We're gonna check out the beach club right now. Right now. Look at how stunning this backside entrance is of the beach club. Carrie likes it, don't you? Yeah, I love it. And I love the trees, the pink. Everything looks adorable. So. Now both Yacht and Beach Club resorts are deluxe here at Walt Disney World. So, top of the top of the resorts. Why don't you say we go get some AC and check out Beach Club Lobby. We'll make it the door. And check out the Beach Club Lobby. I love it already. Now the last time we were here, it was Christmas season. So it's our first time seeing it without all the Christmas decorations. And honestly, I think I kind of like it even more. I, I think I like it more without the Christmas decorations, but the carousel's nice. Don't get me wrong. All right, so quick scan of the lobby. You have Cape May Cafe right there for breakfast. Beautiful uh, lobby here. It is kind of small though, compared to some other deluxe resorts. I love the beach theming for the furniture. And then right down this way, you kind of have all the fun stuff. You got the merch and uh, the DVC portion of Beach Club is down this way as well. There's nobody here real quick. The elevator landing, all the beach details. Everything here is subtle and done very, very nice. We're gonna head on over to the marketplace. Nope, down this way, down this way. As we are approaching the gift shop, great details here for window shopping. Absolutely love it. Let's go see what the next one has. Oh, they even have Halloween, Halloween merch displayed here. Let's go take a look, shall we? The marketplace at the Beach Club Resort. Carrie, it, sm it smells good in there because they're brewing, oh, good. They're, they're brewing good. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry. We'll see. But yes, it does smell It good. does smell, yeah. I mean, it's 2023. Can't they create like smell vision or something that you can smell it throughout through your TV or phone? We'll probably get there at some point, but. Uh, anyways, here is the Halloween merch. It is the exact same stuff that they have inside the parks. Amelia, Amelia got that. Nope. Oh, you, you already got that. You already got. You got it at home. Remember? And then they have their grab and go stuff where you can get drinks. You know, quick bites to eat, parfaits. Ooh, look at these dome cakes. Those look good. All right. 
the smells got to us. They definitely got to us. Amelia wants an apple. We're getting a couple of snacks here right now. I think Harry and I can split a yogurt parfait. These look pretty good. $5.99. Before we head out of here, let's check out the, uh, the Beach Club merchandise. Stuff they only have here. Uh, I love the, what is this, a magnet? Yeah, $12.99. That's a good magnet. We'll probably show you later today, but they have uh, Beaches and Cream. A very good ice cream shop here on property. Speaking of Beaches and Cream, they have their own shirt. That's kind of cool. They don't have a whole lot of uh, Beach Club merchandise here. But let's head on out, have our snacks, and then continue exploring the property. You got an apple. All right, so before we get started, a lay of the land. Yacht club side, beach club side, and right in the middle they have this huge, huge pool that, that they both share. And Disney has it pretty much on lockdown. But uh, main entrance here, we are right here in the main lobby. They have a DVC portion of the beach club here, and then you just have regular guest rooms here. So we'll explore this. And then we'll transition over here and then transition over to Yacht Club. So that, that's the game plan for right now. They have a Disney cruise line here. We have yet to go on our first Disney cruise, but I promise you, we will. We will at some point. Let's head on down over here, see what they have. Head towards the, uh, the Beach Club Villa side for the DVC portion. And we'll kind of work our way towards back toward the main lobby and everywhere else. All right, Beach Club Villas. Let's go. Nice little seating area out here too. If you just got, you know, grab something real quick. Everything back here just feels so quaint and nice. I mean, look at it. Look at it. This is awesome. It's a nice little courtyard area for sure. And then right over here, Carrie found a good picture spot. Let me show you. How cute is this? You found a good spot, Carrie. Why don't you say we go say hi to our friend Ariel? And I think Flounder, and then we'll go inside of the DVC portion, check out the hallways, and then head back towards the main lobby. Ariel! Say cheese! This is our attempt to try to get a picture with both girls in front when they're not cooperating. Amelia, what are you doing? Let's go take a picture. Let's go take a picture. That does look like a check mark. Very good. Let's go get a picture. Come on. Picture, 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 picture. I hope this is comical for you guys. You guys at home. Say cheese. Amelia, show your teeth. What a great sister's picture, huh? <laughs> An apple and twigs. <laughs> All right, let's go in and see what this looks like, shall we? Ah, oh, we never been in, in here before. This is called the drawing room. Little activity center. They found Disney Junior. <sighs> Chairs are pretty comfy. What do you think, Eric? Comfy? Take a look at the breezeway. Oh, this looks nice. Look at this. This is like Carrie's office dreams. Olivia just said this looks like somebody's house and I couldn't have put it better myself. It really does. It really looks like somebody's house. I asked if this is our house. This is our future home. Yeah, yeah you wish. Nice built-in. <laughs> it's, it's very nice. And this picture, this picture will, will look nice over a fireplace or like a couch. Look at that. So this is not the main pool. This is like a quiet pool, but it's just for a uh, beach club. You know, it gets the job done. Definitely gets the job done. All right, now we're gonna head back towards the main lobby, check out the regular guest rooms here at Beach Club, and then we'll kind of head towards the main pool. Awesome pool, awesome pool. And then maybe we'll try to find beaches and cream. But I don't think they're open yet because it's it's 9:50. Even their their hallways here, it's nice. All right, we need to stay at Beach Club now. <laughs> yeah. Look, look at their doors. Doors look cool. 
back at the lobby. Is it weird that I like, I appreciate this more without Christmas decorations? Well, you can see more of it without everything. Yeah. Everything. More, less distractions. I can definitely see more details this time without the, I don't want to call them distractions, but without the distractions of Christmas decorations. It's nice. It's definitely nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Found a little, uh, Get an access a little bit. This is all stroller parking for Cape May, which is right here. It looks nice. It looks real nice. I don't know. Just look at the details here. This is Beach Club a lot nicer than what I remember it to be, for sure. For sure. So right now we're kind of heading more central in between Beach and Yaklo. So we'll kind of follow this path along, see where it takes us, and go from there. Ooh, Martha's Vineyard Lounge. Sounds fancy. Probably like a late night, evening type of lounge. And I don't know what this is. I'm gonna try to look it up real quick. It's called Ariel's, but it's obviously closed. All right, so I just looked it up on my phone. It is a wedding pavilion. You, you, you can get married and have uh, re receptions there. In case you're looking for yourself, it can ac accommodate 10 to 50 guests, including the couple. I didn't know that they had it. Try to peek in real quick. Definitely big inside, but I don't know how you guys can tell. It looks cool. It definitely looks cool. Alright, so we got the main pool here. It's like one big lazy river, kind of, with a bunch of pools spread out. Looks awesome. I'll try to get some better pictures for you guys. And then you got uh, Beaches and Cream right around the corner here, I believe. Yep. So you can either do to-go, kind of quick service, or you can actually sit down and eat as well. Here is their to-go menu. Go ahead and pause real quick. Now one thing that they do have here that they're kind of famous for is their kitchen sink. It's like, it feeds four people, pretty much. The bunch of ice cream, banana split, fudge, you name it. I think you can only get that on the inside though. That wasn't on the to-go menu list. I think I see the regular menu right here, so I'll show you that real quick. Yep, so here is the regular menu. You can get burgers and Rubens, soups and salads, kids meals. You can actually uh, request this um, for dining reservations on the My Disney Experience app. But this is what I was talking about. Kitchen sink. Eight scoops of ice cream with all the toppings and it's $36. It does serve four, I, I was right on that. We are definitely going to have to try that one day. Not today, not today, but one day we will. Now their pool here, Disney kind of has this one on lockdown because it is so popular. You, they have to scan your key card or magic band and then they'll give you an actual wristband. So that way everybody has a wristband is able to go inside. I mean, look at it behind me. It's, it's absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning. You got a bunch of pools spread out over here. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can see, some tubes floating down the lazy river. You can see some more right there. You got the beach club side over here, and then yacht club over here. And right in between, they share this beautiful and awesome pool. Now it is not the largest on Disney property. That belongs to Art of Animation. But this is definitely the most impressive, I will give it that. The most impressive. I don't know if I mentioned or not, this pool is called Stormalong Bay, and like I said, it's the shared pool between the beach and yacht club. That's kind of why I said before, are they are they the same resorts? Kind of yes, because they, they share certain amenities. And I'll show you guys this in a second, but they have their own slide that's a pirate ship on the outside that brings you right into the inside of the pool. And here is that pirate ship slide I was telling you about. How awesome is this if you're a kid? or even an adult. I would love to go on that, honestly. I think that'd be so cool. You climb all the way up, you go down the slide, and it brings you right inside Stormalong Bay on the other side of these rocks here. What are your initial thoughts, Carrie, at Beach Club? I like it. I really like the Vacation Club area. I like their colors. Yeah, the colors are nice. Um, overall, I thought it looked cute. I like it. I, I think I might like Yacht Club a little bit more, so we have to go check out that one now. What a good transition, Carrie. What a good transition. Onward to Yacht Club. Onward. As we are heading on over to Yacht Club, 
you are right next to the Skyliner that can take you to uh, Hollywood Studios. You can walk to Epcot, which is awesome. And then uh, you can take a boat over to Hollywood Studios. Or you can walk. It's about a 15 minute walk. You can take the boat and it's right here. I'll show you that. One of the main entrances to Yacht Club. Turn all the way around and you have the, the dock for friendship boats that'll take you on over to Hollywood Studios. And then right across the way on Crescent Lake, you have the boardwalk. Anybody can take the boats, yacht, beach, ourselves, we're not staying here. Swan and Dolphin, boardwalk, you name it, you can go on it. There's no restrictions or anything for yacht or beach club guests. All right, Carrie, lead the way. Welcome everybody to Yacht Club. All right, so if you haven't guessed, the Yacht Club is obviously yacht or boat theme, nautical theming. Look, you got one. You got a nice boat right here. Quick scan of the lobby real quick for you guys. We have Ale and Compass right over there. Let's go take a look at that real quick. So we have Ale and Compass Lounge, which is right here. I don't know the hours. And then around the corner, they have the actual Ale and Compass. This resort is definitely much darker. Kind of has more of like a gentleman's kind of like lounge feel to it with all the dark wood and the wainscoting. But nonetheless, it's still very nice. I feel like the Christmas decorations here enhance this lobby a lot compared to the beach club. But nonetheless, don't get me wrong, they're, they're both still really great resorts. Sorry it's dark right here. I apologize. The girls found their little kid's corner. A turtle! A turtle! Is that funny? Uh-huh. And they're, they're all you can't tell from here. Their kids' chairs are, uh, you know, they got like portholes. Because it's a, it's a boat theme. Hi, Olivia. We are going to explore some indoor, more indoors real quick. Try to find a gift shop, and then we'll kind of explore the grounds a little bit, huh? I think that's the game plan right now. The market at Allen Compass. We've never been in this one before, Carrie. Oh, Carrie found her Lily Poulter section. Let's go. You like that one? Lots of good stuff in here. Can any of you guys picture Carrie wearing this nice hat? No. It would take away from my headbands. Yeah, it would. We like Carrie's headbands. <laughs> Give a thumbs up if you guys do too. <laughs> you need to get Carrie. I know, okay. It's nice. Daddy, daddy, I so, so far I can already tell a big difference between beach and yacht merchandise. There's a lot more nicer stuff here at Yacht Club than there was at Beach. Beach was a pretty small marketplace and shopping area, honestly. I'll show you guys around real quick. It's mostly the same stuff. They have quick service and whatnot here, but a lot more merchandise that you can get here. So I'll show you. Olivia wants to show you something. What though? You like the aerial bag. That is a nice aerial bag. That is very nice. As we're heading on out for the outside portion, more wind, more uh, displays. Disney knows how to. Disney does it right. That's for sure. Disney does it right. And look at this carpet. Nautical map compass. Here's a look at some of their hallways over here and guest rooms. Very nice. Very nice for sure. We made it back to the lobby. Look, they have they have the huge ships behind each uh, check-in station. That is cool. And then also, while I'm here, here's a look at the August recreation activities. Lots of good stuff. Do you like Yacht Club as much as when it was Christmas time? I like Yacht Club more at Christmas. I like it, but I think it looks better at Christmas. Yeah, I agree. But Beach Club looks Beach Club looks better without all the Christmas. That makes sense. What do you think, Olivia? Yacht Club or Beach Club? Uh, 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 beach Club. Beach Club. Beach Club. Can I get a high five? Yeah. Good job. Which one is Beach Club? The other one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, maybe don't go for her uh, recommendation. Before we head on out, let's go check out the mezzanine, see what's up here. Probably just seating if I, if I had to guess, but I'll let you know. And Olivia's coming with me. 
Oh. Where are we going, sailor? We're going to the beach. We have made it to the top. Good views up here. On that side, it's just seating areas. Let's see what they have over here. Maybe just more seating areas. Some kind of concierge level. Olivia found a comfy seat. And then you have uh, Carrie and Amelia down there. And around the corner, you do have a uh, guest room. So second floor, elevator bank, Daddy, everything down that way. Daddy, let's what? Spin the perfume again. You wanna go spin the, the, the wheel? All right, let's go. Head back outside, Let's go. check out the grounds, and unfortunately leave the, leave the air conditioning. Thank you, miss. <laughs> All right, so back outside, main entrance from the back side here. You can continue on walking the path that we walked on before by uh, Beaches and Cream, and behind from Long Bay. They have several entrances to the pool area, so if you're staying here or beach, you don't have to walk really far one way or another. Thank you. All right, so back at the map we go. We are here, just explored the inside of Yacht Club. They don't have a lot of ground really to explore. They do have a convention center, which I did not know that they had, honestly. But right by the pool, Already did beach and beach club villa, so that means there is no DVC portion over here at, at Yacht Club. But hey, comment down below and let us know what do you think so far, Yacht Club or Beach Club, based upon the interiors, because they kind of share some of the pool. I would stay at either of these resorts for access to the pool alone, because that pool looks amazing. Wow. So right behind me is Bayside Marina, where you can rent pontoon boats, We'll go here real quick and check out what it says for pricing and whatnot. So here we are, Bayside Marina, open from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can do a fireworks cruise for up to 10 guests for $400, which honestly, if you split it up between 10 people, it's honestly not that bad. 45 for 30 minutes, 90 for 60, and again, 10 guests maximum. So it's really not too bad if you're able to split it up. Would you guys rent a boat or have you rented a boat before? Whether it's here or by, uh, Seven Seas Lagoon by Magic Kingdom. If you did do it, did you enjoy it? So real quick, you got a nice view of Crescent Lake. I think we're gonna head back on the Skyliner and head over to Hollywood Studios and we bought a little platform thing for Olivia to stand on just to kind of get her some more uh, stamina in her legs because she's always too tired to walk. <laughs> but now that we do have this and it's a single wide stroller, we can just, you know, ride on in to the, to the Skyliner. So we're gonna try that out for the first time today. We are now walking past the beach club. You have the beach right here. And just straight ahead, you have the entrance to Epcot and the Skyliner. Just a short walk away. Exploring both of these resorts today changed my opinion of Beach Club and Yacht Club. They're both great resorts, don't get us wrong, but uh, I have a better appreciation now for Beach Club now that I spent some time here and explored. Because last time when we were here for Christmas decorations, uh, we were, we were kind of in and out real quick and didn't really explore, explore. All right, so right now we are going to head on the Skyliner, head on back to Hollywood Studios a little bit off camera grab some lunch and grab some rides. And so if you stay at Yacht and Beach, like I said before, you have this that you can take on over to Hollywood Studios or Resort Hop if you want to. Steps, just steps from your hotel. What was your favorite part? Spinning the wheel of Spinning the wheel where? Up in the Yeah, in the Yacht Club. Up in the lobby. Next stop, we're going backwards, but Hollywood Studios. We have made it to Hollywood Studios, everybody. We are going to spend the, the afternoon here off camera for a little bit. If you enjoyed this video, we thank you guys for watching. Can you say bye to everybody? Say bye-bye. 
it. Thank you for watching.